Hello, darlings. I am back. I realized that I have done you guys a huge about this company. I am obsessed with Sea Monster sauces. Now, you guys have heard me say it before. I have food allergies. So when it comes to sauces and condiments that I can reliably use on my foods, often I get the standard mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, and that's it. And I'm always really cautious when I find new sauces to read the ingredients and ask all of the questions. And I can use both of their sauces, which makes me so excited. And we're going to dive right in. This is Sea Monster Sauces. They are local to Wilmington, NC. They sell in local grocery stores. And also you can go to their website and order. So go to their website and order. But I'm going to dive in and you'll figure out why here in a minute. This little jar right here. Yeah, shake it up. This is their danger berry sauce. This is a strawberry habanero hot sauce. And now I love spicy food, but my thing with spicy food is I want the flavor of spicy food. I don't want, oh my God, it's so hot. It's burning my mouth. So when they told me they had a hot sauce, a strawberry habanero hot sauce, it's a true hot sauce. I had to try it. I was at a market with them that was served and they were, there was another booth that was serving breakfast burritos. So of course I go get my scrambled eggs and sausage and cheese and a tortilla and go zipping by their booth or zipping right up to their booth to get a sample of this to try. This is the best thing ever on scrambled eggs. This is when you eat this, you get the sweet of the strawberry and it's not a artificial strawberry flavor. It is like you bit into a strawberry and then it's followed by heat, but they're so complimentary of each other. It's, it's amazing. It is a hot sauce that is hot and sweet. And you're like, what's that going to go on? I literally eat it on my scrambled eggs. Almost every time I have scrambled eggs, I put it on hash browns. When I do hash browns, I put it on pulled pork. I put it on chicken. I put it on anything that will stand still long enough when I'm in the mood for hot and spicy. But what I had not considered, and I'm about to do this, and we're about to find out. What I had not considered was putting this on ice cream. And then I was reading through, scrolling through Facebook. We all know the endless Facebook scroll. And I came across one of their posts, and it said, absolutely do not add this to vanilla ice cream. I think they said a vanilla milkshake. I think that's what they said. God, it smells so good. When you smell it, Smells like strawberry jelly. Now I'm going to move my bowl over here. We're going to do this without making a mess. Y'all have met me, right? We're probably going to make a mess. Vanilla ice cream. I raided my freezer. I knew I had vanilla ice cream in there. We're going to find out. Ah. All right, darlings. Strawberry habanero danger berry sauce on vanilla ice cream. Oh, my God. That is incredible. Oh my God. That is absolutely incredible. So if you need a new ice cream topping, um, danger berry on ice cream, danger berry on ice cream. I had no idea. I am glad I did that because that it changes the whole flavor profile. You still get the heat. You still get the sweet. But it mellows it out a little bit. I never in my life would have thought about putting hot sauce on ice cream. But holy crap, y'all. That was good. That was good. Now, to their other sauce that they have. This is their surfer slapping sauce. It is a, It literally says it, it's a tangy, sweet heat. This is a little bit spicy. It's more of like a traditional like North Carolina barbecue sauce consistency is thin. Um, there's so many flavor profiles. It's a very well profiled. It's got a little spicy. It's fresh. Again, with food allergies for me, I have to be careful. So I literally, I have not found anything meat related that I will not put this on. I put it on pork. I put it on chicken. I put it on steak. 
I will put this on my hamburger when I just want something different. I have been known to put this on the inside of my bread when I'm making grilled cheese. Butter on the outside, slap and surfer sauce on the inside. Um, I have drizzled this across lunch meat sandwiches. This is the perfect one-stop product for almost everything. The only thing I haven't done with it yet is put it exclusively on vegetables. And I missed a huge opportunity for that tonight. So I guess my uh, people are going to have to have um, sweet potatoes again. Because I do, a, I boil sweet potatoes and then I throw them in a pan, chop them up, boil them, throw them in a pan with some olive oil or butter, whatever fat I have close at hand, and kind of crisp them up after they're boiled. This would be really good on that. But back to this. And this is a very, very versatile. I've put some fish, I've put some shrimp. And I mean, you're thinking, for, we're thinking it's too late at night. If you're thinking flavor profile, the difference between fish and beef and pork and chicken, this goes with everything. It literally just melds into everything. This, I can guarantee you, I will keep on hand forever. Because when I'm like, eh, this just needs a little something. It doesn't need a little something. It needs surfer slap and sauce. So go check these guys out. Their link is in the description of the video. You guys already know that. You know that's where I put it. And as soon as you order... Your danger berry, if you order it and have it shipped, if you pick it up at a market or a grocery store, go get vanilla ice cream. Go get vanilla ice cream and drizzle a little bit of this across your vanilla ice cream. That was freaking incredible. I love you all. I will see you all later. It is late. I think I am going to go to bed now. Good night, darlings.